Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and uh, today we are going to talk about one quick addition to the features of iOS that I did personally like. This is about the backtap feature that has introduced itself in the iOS 14. The latest iOS version is the iOS 14 and uh, we already got one major update today that was iOS 14.2 but this doesn't really get attached to that. This was already present on iOS 14 and there are a lot of users who still don't know about it. It's called the backtap feature. Back tap is something where you actually tap on the back of the phone, a double tap or a triple tap and you set particular functions for that so that whenever you tap double or triple times, it would activate those functions. To activate that, you need to directly go into uh, the accessibility settings and under accessibility, you'll go to touch. This is the area where you need to go to and you'll see that option towards the bottom. You have back tap, double or triple tap the back of your iPhone to perform actions quickly. So tapping on this, you would see two options there, double and triple. It's very simple. There's nothing hard here. Double tap has these many options where you have everything, including apps, which are control center, home, lock screen, muting the phone as well. And also notification center to be opened, reachability, screenshot. I would rather choose this because screenshots on Android and iOS both require double physical button press or in Android, we have seen uh, screenshot gestures like a triple uh, uh, finger uh, being shifted down those things are still not on ios so this is one of the ways to make it easier and you also have the volume down and up controls uh, with the same so you can do either volume down with double and volume up with the triple depends on completely your personal uh, choice so these are the things that you would uh, be able to do with the uh, double and the same list should be present on the triple tap as well so there's no difference there it's exactly the same so you can switch it to whatever you want to and uh, start using it. So I would rather choose app switcher for triple and a screenshot for double. Now let me give you a quick demo of the same. So now I'm on the home screen and uh, if we double tap on this area, this is the area uh, exactly towards the back center where you tap and you would see a screenshot being captured. I haven't done anything on the screen. It's pretty easy. You can see the finger on the back that is going to capture the screenshot there. Now. On the triple tap, we have chosen the multitasking or everything, all the background applications. So this is how it is, the triple tap. So I'll uh, rather open a couple of more apps so that it makes it easy for you to understand uh, whether things are as expected. So we have a few apps in the background now. So three taps and you have all the recent applications here. So that's how it works. Very easy as you can see here, three taps and this one. Now go back to this and double tap, it would take a screenshot. So this works pretty well and you have seen how to uh, actually enable it. You need, just need to go to accessibility settings, then touch settings and here the bottom one is the back tap. A very handy and a very useful feature. But does it work only on naked smartphones or does it also work with the uh, covers? That is one question I personally had. So I would rather give you a quick demo here. I'm using uh, the uh, Spigen liquid air case. Uh, so I've done a video of this as well. If you are interested to watch, you can check it out. And now we have the case uh, placed on this one. Let me place it right. Yes. Now we have the case on it. Now there is a doubt about this uh, working or not. So I had the same doubt. Let me now give you the demo of the same. So yes, now we are here. Let me give you the demo with the case on it. So it takes a screenshot with the double tap. Now with the triple, it opens the multitasking or the background applications. So everything works perfectly with the case as well, but with the lighter touch as well, I tried to give it a hard touch and a hard tap actually. With the lighter tap as well, it is working pretty well. So it is taking screenshot. I thought you need a harder press when you have the case on it, but it isn't needed. This is one of the very good features or a very good addition of features to the iOS 14. And I would personally want you to as well use it if you want to enhance your user experience, because the, what this does is it actually makes your usage easier. You, uh, for many users, even reaching the home button is always hard. You can actually lock the screen by pressing uh, by double tapping on the back of the phone. So I have a large hand. So having my finger reaching there is easy when I use it even with one hand. For many users, they use the second hand actually lock the screen from here. But for me, it's not that hard. For users who find it hard to do that, you can actually lock the screen by going here. So I'll just unlock this for you and show you the demo of the same. Double tap and it would lock the screen. So this is how the back tap works. And as I said, this is quite a handy feature here. So if there are any other tips that you would like to share with us and you want us to show them here on the iOS 14, do let us know and I'll try to show that as well. I hope you like this video. If you do, do share and subscribe to Gizmo Times for more. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.